they were just pure joy. Their smiles and just, they would just bring light even to the darkest day. So I was just lucky to have been a part of their lives. Tonight, a community is grieving for two children killed in a fire at their home in Sewickley. Their mother escaped and is in the hospital with burns. Tonight, a vigil honoring the memory of the children named Lyric and Wild. Jennifer Barrasso spoke to a couple of people who are close with that family. Jen. Yeah, they're just all heartbroken and just grieving. And I want to show you the memorial that's growing outside of the home. Flowers left behind, cards. Now, sources telling me that the mom of the children, she jumped on top of the porch roof and called 911 saying she couldn't get to her children because of the smoke and fire. Now, no word on a cause, but investigators are lo looking at a possible problem with an extension cord and a space heater on the first floor. An emotional vigil in Swickley, remembering the tragic loss of two siblings who died in a house fire. Nine-year-old Lyra Keys, a third grader at Edgeworth Elementary, described as bright and happy, and six-year-old Wild Lightner in the first grade, described as a super sweet kid. This man more than a family friend, known as Uncle Jay. I lost two of the dearest people in my life and some of the most amazing children I've ever met. They, they made me like kids, honestly. <laughs> they were amazing children. <laughs> they were amazing. I've never seen two more happy kids in my life. The fire broke out just before 3 this morning on Miller Way. The kid's mom, Shelby, jumped from the roof of the front porch onto the ground, suffering burns to her feet. She called 911, screaming she couldn't get to her kid's bedroom. Within minutes, police and firefighters arrived. The house engulfed with flames. Officers tried to get the house, the second floor of the older two-story wooden home, filled with smoke. The children shared a bedroom. Wild was found inside his bed. Lyric found in the hallway on the floor outside of her mom's bedroom. Their dog, Pucky, also died. Sources tell me there were no working smoke detectors. They believe the fire broke out in the living room, and they are looking at a questionable extension cord and a space heater as a possible source. Longtime friend Patty Poloka tells me Shelby moved her kids here in the summer for better opportunities. She says the struggling mom did makeup out of her home. Poloka helped them with groceries and gifts. Wild, as I said before, nonverbal, when I would be there getting my eyelashes done, laying there with my eyes closed, I would feel a little hand grab my hand and he would tap on my hand or stroke my hand and just just play with me. He was just so sweet. His his eyes and his his smile spoke for him. He was the sweetest little boy. And then Lyric, beautiful, beautiful little girl. She loved getting her hair and done by her mom because Shelby's fabulous at hair and makeup. And she was just so precious, beautiful, very smart. And so much heartache and pain. You can hear it in that interview, taking a look at the growing memorial. Someone left this card to Lyric. Thank you for being a great friend. And once again, a fire chief telling me that so many firefighters, so many first responders just uh, dealing with this loss. Uh, I saw grown men crying tonight at the vigil and also a fire chief pointing out it is so important to check your smoke detectors, check the batteries. It does save lives. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDKA News.